friends, what's up? Welcome back to another vlog. If you're new here, my name is Selena. I share life in my 20s, post-grad living alone in the Washington DC area. So if you're into that sort of thing and if you haven't already, consider subscribing. Anyway, happy Wednesday. We're in the middle of the week. <laughs> I'm about to have my pre-workout. It's currently 12 p.m. in the afternoon. I'm taking my lunch break and today I'm going to actually go for a little one mile easy run and then maybe I'll stop and get some coffee on my way back. We shall see. But I wanted to bring you guys along because I wanted to kind of give you guys like a little running update. This Saturday, I actually am running my first 5K race in a long time. I think the last one that I did, it was when I was back home for the holidays, I think in like 2019. So it's been about three years. And for those of you who don't know me, I used to to run cross country in high school so 5k's were like my jam back in the day and then I ran long distance just on my own in college and then since college I've kind of been in and out of running and I'm trying to get back into it so this will be my first time in like almost three years that I've done a 5k race so my only goal my first race is to just run the entire time and try to get my time like my pace under 13 minutes if possible. But let me tell y'all, because I'm so like new to running, starting back over and with my previous injuries, I'm not super hopeful, so we'll see, we'll see. I also haven't been running super consistently the past few weeks. I've only been running like one, maybe two times per week, which isn't the best way to train for a 5K. But here we are, nonetheless, pushing myself, challenging myself. I'm really, really excited for it. I'm gonna be running it with my partner, well, He's gonna be running ahead of me, so <laughs> pretty much I'm gonna be running it by myself. But it's cool that he'll be there for emotional support when I finish my run and everything. But for today, it's an easy one mile run. So hopefully y'all enjoyed this kind of vlog. If you do, don't forget to like this video. Make sure to comment down below if you're an avid runner, if you're a novice or whatever it might be. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. But with that said, I'm gonna drink this and head out. quick little update. I got back from my run. I survived. So today I just had to do one mile at an easy pace, which I'm not gonna lie y'all, right now no pace feels easy to me. Even walking feels hard sometimes just because I've been living such a sedentary lifestyle. Honestly, since the pandemic and working from home, it has drastically decreased my overall fitness because truthfully, even if you're working out like every single day, 30 minutes, 45 minutes a day. If you're sitting all day, you know, working, editing, 
whatever it might be, then you're still more sedentary than someone who just naturally lives a more active lifestyle like I don't know, construction workers or a fitness instructor or even someone who just commutes to the office and like walks to work or something like that. Their base or standard of fitness is already higher, if that makes sense. So for me, pre-pandemic, I was commuting to work and walking during my workday in the office and throughout the building and going to events. Back then, if I were working out as often as I am now, I would be a really fit person, but now, <laughs> It's hard because I'm at a lower like base if that makes sense So even going for like a 45 minute walk Feels like exercise to me. I mean it is exercise walking is definitely an underrated form of exercise And it's really really good for you. So I'm not trying to deter anyone from that But I'm just trying to be honest about where I'm at and currently today's easy 13 minute pace I was huffing and puffing the whole time. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say But we got it done and then after I ran my mile I took a few clips which is what I what I added to today's vlog um, I don't like to stop during my actual run to take clips of myself running because then it messes with my pace and everything So usually if you ever see like little clips of me running in my videos It's because either someone's with me running and they took a clip of me or what's most often true is I finish my entire run and then either right before my run or at the end of my run I'll just like set up my phone in different places and I'll just run a lap past it and film that because I don't want to mess up my run anyway so that's that's my update today I will see you guys tomorrow for whatever workouts my coach has for me I'm tired and I need to sign back into work Hey friends, happy Friday. So I didn't check in yesterday. I was going to because I was supposed to do like this mobility exercise, stretch, whatever. I didn't get to it because I'm in my busy season at work, working overtime, don't even really take my lunch breaks usually. So I didn't check in yesterday is all I'm trying to say. Today it's the day before the 5K. It is the 5K Eve, so the day before a race, it's always really good to get in a good amount of carbs, which I never have an issue with that. I also want to make sure I drink tons and tons of water to like flush out any toxins. I've been drinking a lot of water like this whole week in preparation, but today especially I'm going to try to drink like at least four to six of these, especially since my run is going to be tomorrow in the morning, which means, you know, I'm not going to have a ton of time to drink like a glass of water a couple hours before the race because a couple hours before the race, I'm going to be like still waking up because as we know, I'm not a morning person. Hey friends, so the 5 k's tomorrow. I honestly do not feel ready, but I'm trying to see it as my first 5k. I just want to have fun with it. I don't know, I think part of the cool thing about running a 5k is that you see this wider community of runners. I'm looking forward to that. I'm a little bit nervous because I'm sure I'm going to be dying. I'm going to be very fatigued. But anyway, trying to go in strong, trying to correct my negative thoughts into positive ones. It's gonna be a positive experience. I'm gonna push myself, but not too hard. I'm gonna do my best to just like run the whole time, even if it's really slow and 
really steady, but you know, that's the goal. So right now I'm gonna do a little bit of stretching and mobility and then I'm just gonna have dinner and relax and try to drink more water because I definitely did not drink enough water tonight. So I need to do that as well. But yeah, these are my thoughts the night before. race day it is currently 6 41 a.m and i woke up at 6 15. now it's time to get ready to go i'm feeling very tired but we're not going to talk about it it's going to be fun don't mind my hair it's truly a mess <laughs> to go how do you feel i'm ready are you excited though i'm excited i woke up before him and i feel like he has more energy than i do because he's actually used to waking up early we're doing this 5k together though we're not really running together because obviously we're we're at different paces so i'm gonna be running with y'all slash by myself so wish me luck
Hey friends, so it's been a few days since I ran the 5k. Honestly that day I just wanted to go home. So I wanted to go relax and I also had a Friendsgiving that night which was really really fun and I enjoyed it. Ready you guys move? Yes. We're gonna practice round, okay? So first is you. We're gonna go for the next one. Okay. So we're gonna practice. But because of that, I just forgot to film like my recap of the 5k. So my goal going into this 5k was really just to run the entire time. And this was going to be my first race since 2019 and I'm so proud and feeling really accomplished that I got that done. It was also one of my 2022 goals and it was achieved so I'm really really happy with that. But I won't lie, I was like in the back of my mind hoping to get my pace time under 13 minutes if possible but honestly y'all I'm not gonna lie, running a race I had forgotten, like I did cross country in high school, I did several sports, but cross country was like my main sport that I really enjoyed and then in college I ran long distance and like did 5k's on my own as well, but I had forgotten because it had been years like since I had ran a 5k race. And running a 5k race there's all this like excitement and anxiety that goes along with that and like nervousness because you're running around hundreds of people that you don't know that have different paces and while it can be really encouraging because people tend to be really positive and it's like a cool reminder that you're a part of this larger community of people who for whatever reason love to torture themselves and run on a weekly basis we love that it's also easy to fall into comparison like wow this is really hard for me and it looks so easy for this other person so I was definitely struggling with that a bit during the race I'm not gonna lie if someone was recording me the entire race you would have seen me probably on what is the word on the edge of tears on the brink of tears whatever i was very close to crying at times and it reminded me that running is actually a very emotional sport it's very much so a mental sport and that's one of the things i love about it because it gives you that runner's high and it gives you those endorphins which we all love you've heard of it i'm sure but in addition to that it gives you so much like mental discipline because you have to either be strong mentally or it forces you to become strong Strong mentally you have to eradicate negative thoughts out of your mind in those races and just tell yourself like I got this I am strong I can accomplish this I'm doing amazing you have to force yourself to think positively during those runs to get them done it's just such a mental sport because if you go into a race thinking very negatively and you let that take over it's so easy to want to give up your entire run so I was having a whole mental battle internally while I was running this race and I'm really grateful that my boyfriend also did this 5k. We did it together. He obviously like ran his own pace but he would also check on me and like film little clips and take photos. I did ask him to you know Instagram boyfriend what can I say but it was really nice to have him there and share that experience with him as well so I definitely recommend if you do a 5k to have a running buddy or even invite your friends and family just to come cheer you on because it makes worlds of a difference. Um, I d wasn't able to get my pace on under 13 minutes but I will say I did a lot better than I could have honestly hoped for because like I said I was having those mental battles I was definitely comparing myself not only to like people I was running around but also comparing myself to my former self and my former running abilities and I know that that's not something you should do but I'm just being honest with y'all like in the moment in the race I was thinking like dang I used to run an eight minute pace during my race and right now I'm struggling with the 13 minute pace and there were times like there were so many more hills than I was prepared for I was not prepared for hills because I haven't been doing the type of training that I did you know when I was in cross country which I'll go into that in another video if you guys are interested because I do think that I want to start incorporating more of that type of training into my current routine because I do want to continue running and I do want to improve my time and all of that so let me know if you're interested in that type of video comment down below if you'd like to see more running videos for me and more running content and also specifically what type of running content you would like to see in future vlogs I had to remind myself like you're not in high school you know you don't have all this extra time to go to 6 a.m. practices before school and run around a 
track and run miles and miles after school on top of that like I had all this time that I would train and dedicate to training and realistically in my adult life working my nine to five requires a ton of overtime and also working on content creation which I love doing that's like my second job that I like am passionate about and also just wanting to build a business I'm, I have all these things going for me and I have to remind myself that I'm doing amazing where I am now and also that it was my first 5k race in three years and that my time really wasn't what mattered most. What mattered most was getting it done, pushing myself and getting there mentally, and I did that. I did the damn thing. So I'm very proud of myself, and hopefully this inspires some of you to just start training. I had only been like training for this 5K for probably like seriously three weeks honestly so i'm not super surprised that my time wasn't great my pace ended up being i think 13 30 which is around the pace of what i've been running the past few runs so it makes sense but yeah hopefully for my next 5k which I need to sign up for another one, maybe in the new year or something. It'll be nice to get my time under 13 minutes and just see the progress like that. Like that kind of progress is so nice because it takes all the pressure off of weight loss and how you look and it puts it all on your performance. And that's one thing that I really love about running and being a runner and choosing running as my sport because I truly think that being a runner is more so about performance. Whereas for example, being a bodybuilder is more so about, you know, aesthetics. Of course it's performance if you're doing like powerlifting, but bodybuilders, it's truly more so about aesthetics and how you look. Having that mindset shift to running and wanting to improve my time and my mobility and wanting to avoid injuries and also putting in enough volume of training where I'm actually getting out and running enough and like adding variety to my runs and all the things it gets me more motivated and excited while i did mention in another vlog that i just want to lose a little bit of weight so that it's easier on my joints and that so that i can perform better but once i'm at an ideal weight for my body where i'm able to run like a 10 minute mile consistently and hey if i'm able to run a 10 minute mile and i don't lose any weight and I feel good when I run and I walk, then that's fine. That's pretty much what I'm trying to say right now. But I am trying to make lifestyle changes and they will hopefully result in me getting better performance and also, again, like losing weight. If that's what I need to do for my body to be healthier and to perform, then that's what I'm gonna do. And that's how I'm choosing to see it this time. And I'm really excited for it. So hopefully you all will continue to follow my journey and also run along with me quite literally. So I'll definitely let you guys know when I sign up for my next race. Who knows, maybe we could even do like a virtual race together one day. That would be really, really fun. Let me know down below if you'd be interested in that. But with all of that said, I hope that you all enjoyed this running update, running vlog video. If you did, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and make sure to leave a comment down below. Let me know if you're a runner or if you wanna get into running. If you have ran any 5Ks or plan to be running any 5Ks anytime soon. And if you haven't already, remember to subscribe down below. But with all that said, if I don't see you all in the comment section, then I hope to see you all in the next video.